In this lesson, you will learn to subtract mixed fractions with unlike denominators by converting fractional parts to common denominators, regrouping whole numbers into fractions, and simplifying answers using greatest common factors. You know that a whole number and the fractional part of a mixed number can be regrouped to create an improper fraction. For example, 5 and 3 eighths, the 5 can be regrouped. We'll take the 5 and create 40 eighths along with the 3 eighths that were already there. Altogether, the 40 eighths plus the 3 eighths create 43 eighths. I'm going to explain the idea of subtracting mixed fractions with regrouping by first demonstrating that we can regroup in other ways. If we simply split 5 and 3 eighths into 4 plus 1 plus 3 eighths, we can then regroup the 1 as 8 eighths. This creates 4 plus 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. Altogether, this creates 4 and 11 eighths. We'll return to this 4 and 11 eighths later, but first let's look at a common denominator example. We'll return to our 5 and 3 eighths. From that, we will subtract 2 and 7 eighths. In order to regroup easily, we will rewrite the fractions vertically. Now, we will start on the right, much like other times we subtract using place value. It will be easier to subtract the 7 eighths if there are more eighths here in the fraction above it. We can regroup from the 5. Remember, 8 eighths equal 1. So, if we borrow a 1 from the 5, that leaves 4 in the 1's place, the 8 eighths plus the 3 eighths create 11 eighths. Now we can use this 11 eighths, subtract 7 eighths, and get 4 eighths. 4 minus 2 is 2 in the 1's place. Now we will simplify using the greatest common factor. We can divide by 1 because it won't change the value. 4 over 4 is another way to write 1. We divide by 4 over 4 because it is the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. We are left with 2 and 1 half as our answer. Let's see how subtracting with unlike denominators works. We will need to convert the fractional parts to common denominators, regroup whole numbers into fractions if necessary, and simplify our answers using greatest common factor. In this problem, Linda had 17 and 1 sixth ounces of clay and used 3 and 2 ounces to create a mug. We will subtract to find out how much she has left. We will start by writing the problem vertically. Then we will create common denominators. The least common multiple of 6 and 3 is 6. So we simply need to change the bottom fraction. We will multiply by 2 over 2, which is equal to 1, creating 4 sixths. Now we will look to see if we need to regroup. Because we are subtracting 4 sixths from 1 sixth, we will need to look to the ones place to regroup. 6 sixths equals 1, so we can cross out the 7, leaving 6, and add 6 sixths to our 1 sixth. This will total 7 sixths. Now we can subtract 7 sixths minus 4 sixths equals 3 sixths. 16 minus 3 is 13. Now we will simplify the fractional part using the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 3 and 6 is 3. So if we divide the top and bottom by 3, we get 1 half. Therefore the answer is 13 and 1 half ounces of clay. You just learned to add mixed fractions with unlike denominators by converting fractional parts to common denominators regrouping fractions into whole numbers, and simplifying answers using greatest common factors.